Hi guys, welcome to the video. I'm Dan from DB Games and today we're going to be doing a gameplay of God Tier, which I was very kindly sent by Steamforge Games as here. Uh, I haven't been able to play with my local game group due to an injury on my back. So I've actually been playing this game I'm going to do today. It has been played online with uh, Northern Dice uh, Callum. He's a really cool guy, so check him out on Instagram and Twitter and all his socials if you want to see more of him. Um, his sound isn't brilliant. His sound is a little bit higher than mine. But this is the first game I played to learn how to play the game after reading the rules and trying to play myself um, at home. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm playing as uh, Morrigan, who's on the front cover of this box. And another character who I don't actually own but now want to buy called Grimgut. A uh, really gross kind of chunky looking guy. Looks a bit like a Jabba the Hutt style monster. He, he's mean, his, min, uh, his minions, um, they don't give any points when they die. So they're really useful, you can move them into battle but no one really wants to attack them because they don't give any points. Therefore they give you a bit of a strat strategy there which is quite nice. Um, and they don't seem to get killed off that much, even though them being closer to Grimgut helps Grimgut do more stuff and can give him extra boons and things. So that's quite a nice little tactical difference with that character. And Morrigan's really great at giving out um, negative boons to the opposition as well. And also doing some damage yourself. So my team's quite cool. And then Callum went with a team which is um I can't remember the names. One's like an archer who's got really good long range but not great damage. And the other guy who had um his minion only had one minion instead of like mine had five each. So his minion was very big and did quite a lot of damage, but was also one that I focused on attacking quite a lot to try and kill off the field to keep him out of battle. But it was a really great gameplay and it was really enjoyable so I hope watch, watching this video is fun for you. If you do like it please like the video down here somewhere and then uh, put any comments in the comment section and feel free to subscribe to the channel as well if you like what we're doing it would really help. So let's get this onto the table and show you how this one played out. Thanks for watching. Um, do you have any preference on who you want to be? Or... I think we could both play the same characters to be fair. Yeah, that might not be the bad idea. Um, I think Morrigan looks quite simple to use. Some of the other Morrigan, ones. yeah, Morrigan's a nice and easy one because it is just all attack. She's got one ability, which I think is called some daft like snowballs chance. All right. Yeah. Which is if she hits you with it, it's just an instant kill. But the likelihood of you making a hit here is really low. Oh yeah. He's got flash freeze. All right, well, enemies in range yet. Yeah, so maybe I'll try Morrigan. She might be an interesting one to start with. Wondering if this all. No. I kind of hoped that would have sorted them all out for me, all the cards and stuff, but it didn't. No. You don't seem to be able to group all of your things together either. No, oh, you can if you hold shift. You draw out. Oh no, you can't draw arrows. Oh no, you can. You can as long as it, yeah, you're right. As long as it hold and shift. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go for Law Sand then because I've not used it before. All right. Yeah, she looks cool. Keep on. She's one of the ones I keep adding to my basket, thinking she looks really cool. Yeah. Is that a guarantee two hits if she gets within three spaces? Yeah. But it's a super ability, so she gets to use that once, and then I have to yeah. flip her, and she can't use it again. Right, nice. So as long as she's got, oh, she's got accuracy six, she has to. That's pretty good, actually, isn't it? Yeah, she mm. looks quite funky. I do kind of want to get Grim got He looks quite cool, but also gross. Uh, it's gross. Mm -hmm. Are we going for a 3v3 or a 2v2? Um, potentially 2v2 because this is my first proper game, so... Yeah, yeah, no worries, might no be worries. a good idea to do 2v2 to start with, maybe. But then uh, I, I will go... Because this game is one of those where if you've got historic knowledge, you're an advantage, so I'll pick two champions I don't know. All right, yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, so I've gone for Shale and Lawsan. Oh, nice. Okay, I don't know these two either, so I'll go for... I'll go for Grimgut as well, just to be disgusting. Nice, like it. Yeah. 
Oh shit, no, I'm zoomed in too much. Oh my god. Couldn't find one else before either, so. <laughs> the pain. We'll go for a. Does it snap to hexes? Oh, I don't. It doesn't quite snap, but it's quite close. Uh, we'll go for a life scenario, which is the easiest one. Yeah, with the two and three, isn't it? Well, three in the middle and. Is, that, is it just four in the centre or something like that? Yeah, yeah it's just four in the centre, yeah. and whoever loses the round. And gets to roll two dice, and they get to add that many plus two hexes to adjacent spots. Right, okay, cool. Sounds simple enough. Um, that's... Then you can place your champions in the first two rows closest to you. Yeah, anywhere in the first two rows, pretty much, isn't it? That's it. Oh, nice, the cards. Oh, I thought the cards were snapping into place then, but they weren't. But... That's not too bad. They're just making sure they're in plotting phases with the swords on, isn't it? Yes. Things. Yeah, okay. yeah, so they're all there. Um, I guess it does kind of make a difference where you go, but I don't really fully know exactly where I want him, so I'm going to just put him there. Him. Oh, my days. Uh, one, two. The minions can go anywhere, can't they, really, on their own spaces or. Yeah, you can have up to three small ones, or if they're big, like. This big fella, they have to have a single one to themselves. Yeah. Thinking uh, three of these guys can have a nice bit of a party together there. Mm. Don't really know what the followers do for these guys. Uh, the Morrigan. Yeah, I'm just looking for the Retchlings for Grim Gut as well. Yeah. The the cold burns are quite good because if they take out a cold burns, they lose a dodge. Um, their preparation phase abilities are all centered on giving Morrigan buffs, so they all effectively just want to follow as much as they can. Yeah. And for their attack, they've got Intense Cold, which is like a buff to themselves, and then Snowblade Fight, but they gain bonuses for every um, Snowblade adjacent to the enemy, so not in the same hex, but around them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. They've only got one movement, they've got, uh, but they can get more, can't they? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, cool. Um... If they're all together as a three, they can still move independently, couldn't they? Like, I could move one there, one there, if I wanted to. Yeah, oh. yeah, it's your choice. Yeah. It's whether you move them as a unit or if you separate them. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how Shale actually gets his minions move because at the minute it's throwing me. Yeah, that's what I was wondering before. Seems weird. Um. Move target champion or wall followers in a hex. Ah, for runes call, it says after Shale makes an action during his activation, if he's in, within three hexes of landslide, you may place landslide in a hex up to two hexes from its current hex. So I guess you ah, can okay. move him and then you can, as long as you're within three hexes of him, you can then move him two hexes That's, somewhere else. I just need to try and keep him as close as possible. Yeah. That's what it seems like. Oh, he's got four health, hasn't he? And three shields. Yeah, as he's, he is. He's, he's a beefy beast. boy. Yeah, he's a bit of a beast. Uh, already a bit worried about him. He looks a bit nasty. 
Because Grim gets points for knocking out an enemy follower, but there's no way he's going to knock him out. He's an absolute monster. No, uh, but you've got the um, Mistwood Rangers who've only got one health and only one defense, to be fair. I didn't realize that. They're really, really, really easy to punch. Sweet. I like the sound of that. Oh, yeah, they're... they've got three dodge, though, haven't they? So... Yeah, but all you need to do is land a blow. As long as you can land a blow, you're fine. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you know of the basics already? Um, I've I've read all the rules. I've tried it roughly. Um, so I know I need to either like you or me go first, and we move all of our people in the planning phase, and then you would go. But then when it gets to the actual action phase or the fighting phase, we uh, take it turn and turn by turn to do either main main guy or minions. So and yeah, then swap back and forward. Whoever goes first gets to be further down the track, don't they? Um, yeah, so the coin starts closer to whoever starts. Yeah. Um, that's basically what I know. I think it take two turns, don't you, each phase? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Each thing gets two turns, and then obviously you can have move, recruit. Um, can't remember what the other things are called, but the power's on your cards as well. Hmm. I kind of know roughly. I've watched a few gameplays and stuff, but I just haven't done it myself. So I think it makes sense, basically. Uh, um, just trying to figure out how you change the wound token. You have to double click it. Uh, you can right click it, can't you, as well? Oh, can you? If you right click it and go down to the bottom right of the circle, you can add or subtract wounds. Oh, okay, okay. But there's no zero on there, I've noticed. So it's on zero right now. If I click it, it's going to go up by one, and then I don't know how to get it back down to zero. <laughs> I don't think you can. You have to double click it and slide it down again. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, I didn't know you could double click it like that. That's really sad. That's really nice. That makes it easy. Yeah, nice. Um, right. I'm wondering if Would I need... you like to go? F Would you like to go first, or? Um, I can do. Yeah, I don't need wound tokens because both of my minions are weak anyway. So, my main guy, he can move two spaces. And so if I go two spaces, one, two, with him. Yeah. That can be done right. Um, I can move my organ on hex and... I don't think I can do is frosty glance because it says it's got me in three hexes, so it's not going to happen. Move each cold bones that was in range up to two hexes, so I could move the cold bones. And they want to be by me, I think, so I could do that, but then they can move anyway themselves, can't they? They can, but they mm -hmm. only get one move action per activation. All right, yeah. So yeah, I'll move these then. Two spaces. Mm. I think that's what it says I can do. Move each cold bones within range up to two hexes. Well, these are also in range, aren't they? So these are four hexes away, so that means these can be moved two hexes as well. Yeah. Uh, then that's his turn done, kind of, for that. So I think I think we'll flip that over, right? And then the cold bones can also have a move. If Morrigan was in range, I can... Give Morrigan a plus on accuracy or movement, which I most probably should have done before. Um, and with Morrigan as well, yeah. her innate ability is that all of her boons count as a plus two instead of a plus one. Oh, nice. So I'll do the plus so which, for accuracy, which I think the tokens are somewhere over here. Just over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. That should. Yeah. Um, and then. I don't know what else these can do, really. You can move them forward on the backs. Yeah, could do. Just don't want them to be in striking distance of you. I don't know what attacks you've got, but oh, yeah, I'll move them all one hex forward. Um, 
And the max so, range I get is plus is three. Right. If I go there, then I can move Grim. Got where he's only got one movement, which means he's going quite slow. Oh, they're all quite. Now that I move is Richlings. Uh, remove all Richlings from the battlefield and then make five recruit actions. What? So you get to get rid of them. If they're all in really awkward positions, you get rid of them all and put all five around Grimgut. Oh, right, okay. Right. So they don't get any movement then. But he does. So I can only move him one space to there. Um, I have no idea if it's worth doing that or not. I think I have to do that action to get them to move, otherwise they can't move or do anything. What's the other side for them? Um, oh yeah, good shot. Oh, they can use slip and slide, which allows them to get two um, movement. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Interestingly, they use a skill in the same activation if they're in different axes. The only oh. downside is any time you use an action that gets a benefit from a boon, you have to remove the boon. All right, okay. Yeah, so I need to get the boon and then do it, basically. Yeah. Hmm. It's a bit rubbish. Isn't it? They seem really annoying to move, so I'm gonna have to take the boon, and then I get to move them, right? Uh, two of them can use the skill, so you get. Hmm. So I'll move these two over here because they're together as a two anyway. And they can like that. Then yeah. this go goes away back over here. Yeah. Brilliant. I think that's it then, isn't it? I think that's all I can do. Yeah, so you have to flip your followers as well. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. Come flip this guy away. Flip. All right. I think you've just flipped Grimgut back. Oh, have I? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I spotted yet. Okay, so that's my section done for this bit, I think. Oh my days. Move three hexes in a straight line. That's just ridiculous. Grimgut is weird. Yeah, he's bizarre. Okay. Then I will move Lawsan 2. Mm. And then... So we've got a range of three, so I'm going to use field instruction to get an extra damage available to her. Yes. My Mistwood Rangers, I'm going to give them an extra dodge to start, but the moment you attack one of them, that disappears. Three. And then I'm just going to move all three. Two. So that's one, yeah, two. Yeah. I was hoping they would have had Skullbreaker on here. I really wanted to try him out. He looks really cool. He is nasty. Yeah. Like, the only time my partner's beat me is when she plays Skullbreaker, and he just he just ruins everything. He hits so hard. <laughs> Good. That sounds like my type of character. Yeah. 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 He's um. But what's weird is every time he makes an attack, he gets debuffs, so he can't just keep on hitting. He has to recuperate, which oh, I think yeah. is quite cool. Yeah, yeah, that seems like a nice way of like mitigating it a bit and making him less powerful. Yeah. I think Some it's many of the Oh, it does. It's a proper monster hunter. Yeah, yeah. So I moved him to... Do the number of objects effects to win three. Oh, that's his super, sorry. I don't want to do that. Oh, no. If Landslide is within range, it gains one defense or one attack. So I'll give... What's the range? Three. Yeah, so I give him that defense to Landslide. But then, because of that, Landslide is within three, so he can move two hexes. Nice. And then Landslide...
is going to use he's going to use earthquake and he's going to use it on my own mistwood rangers okay so it's two and he needs to hit four so they can't dodge it so i need to roll how do i roll Ah, oh, no, I'm not going to do that, actually, because I've just bloody given him a dodge. <laughs> uh, I am actually going to do absolutely nothing with Landslide, mm -hmm. because it doesn't feel like it's worth it. Fair enough. Oh, all right, I think we are into the flash phase. Right, so... I can move Grimgot. Uh, is that... Three hectares, that's just a regular move, isn't it? It's not a special or... So, I no, can the move roll. three hectares. Yeah, the roll. Yeah, yeah. It's up to three as well, so you can choose where you stop, which is quite cool. Yeah, I'm thinking if I get him onto the... Um, onto one of these, which is a straight line there. Yeah. Then, as a second move, can I put down a, put down my thing? This no, you can really put your banner down in the prep phase. Oh, uh, right, okay, okay, okay. That means I've messed up what I was thinking. Um, what I could do is... There's no one to attack in that space, so I could move his ret remove his retlings and then make five recruit actions. Mm. So basically, they, they those all die, and then... Do I get to pick where they come back? Is it going to be a space by me? It has to be surrounding you, but it cannot be on and other minions, on and, it, minions yeah. and it can't be on the objects. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, okay. That's not really worked out. I wanted, I wanted three next to me, and I wanted the other two just... I can grab them. That's not what I wanted. I wanted them to go there. Oh. Not quite. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, that, that's all I can do with him, really, because I, I didn't realize I couldn't put down my thing. But yeah, okay, that's his movement done. So you flip oh, his card. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, so that can flip. Oh my, nine health. He is proper tanky. Yeah, he's a bit of a beast in here. All right. He has only got. He's got two shield as well. It's not bad. But I'm going to use Law Sam. Move three this time. Could I move three last time? Couldn't. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move one, two, and stop there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use Mystic Arrow against Grimgut. Which is three mm -hmm. range, so that's my one, two, three. Yeah. Three to hit. What's Grimgut's dodge? Uh, two, I think. Okay, one, one, one. Two, yeah. That's it's pretty poor. Oh, five. five. Nice. So that's a hit, and then I roll five plus my one bonus six to see how much. Damage it against your defense. Nice. My days, these controls are just blowing my mind. Yeah. Roll. Oh, three. Okay. So, so that's one damage. Oh, I can take that. And then it says after the Mystic Arrow damage roll, make a five damage roll against the target. <laughs> what? That is pretty nice. I imagine it's like, uh, in my head, I imagine like, a mystical arrow that sort of goes through you and then turns around and comes back. Yeah. Like um, your cool. undoes from Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that's oh, more oh. like it. Six. One, two, three. Um, yeah. Two, so four damage, right? Yeah. So that takes him to five. He's still standing strong. He is a bit of a beast, isn't he? Yeah. He is a proper beast, right? And that is Lost Sand fully done. Oh, I didn't think this through, did I? I've blocked in Morrigan with the people in front. Can can Morrigan go through 
through the minions of the other people. No, only certain champions can travel through other minions. No, I didn't think this through. That's not good for me then, is it? Um, what's, what's Morrigan's speed? Two. I mean, if you can get your cold burns to give her a buff of... Sp oh, no, she can't. No, they can't on this way, can they? Um, and they've only got an action, a movement of one. So, not in a good place, really. No. Uh, Right. If I can't take anything out though, you win the round by default. Yeah, true. I'm going to move them just one space then. And then I can get Morrigan round in a minute. Oh, we do. I have to move the others as well, don't I? Ugh, the other minions. I forgot about these guys. Two. One. It's quite a fiddly system, this. <laughs> it is. But I think I'm very attuned to um, tabletop sim. Yeah. So I'm just like used to whipping things around and then people flipping the table and shit. <laughs> yeah. So, right, okay. So that's all my minions move, so they need to be flipped, don't they? Um, and that's your turn. Did they not do an action? Uh, I could, but. Oh yeah, I could give Morrigan. Um, I give Morrigan a boot boon. Yeah. Is that on the attack side? No. I can give a, an attack attack boon within any. Range. Yeah, give, so we, uh, they can give that to themselves. That might be a good I idea. Think it's, yeah. If it's ever just dashes, it's just self. Right. Okay. Then yeah, there we go. Done. Right. These are the intricacies right. that I need to know. Oh. Right, I am going to move all three of my Mistwood Rangers. One, two. And then they are going to fire at a Ranger three against this fella. All right, okay. Oh, I've broken everything. There we go. Okay. So, because there's three of them, I get to roll the bottom value, which is five. Nice. He's got a dodge of What's two. What's their defense? Uh, dodge defense of two. Of three. Defense of three, divide, dodge of two, yeah. Okay, this could all still go very wrong. Oh, so for the dodge roll, I rolled six. Yep, so you're in. I just need to make sure I pierce the armor now. That's another five. Yep. Roll. Four. Oh, four, that's it, I think. I've got a shield of three and a health of one, so four. So he's... Yeah, he's gone, so I get off, right. a single point on the track. That's it. So he's down here. Yeah, and then on your minion turn with those guys, they can make a recruit action and just spawn one next to Morrigan. Yeah, cool. Okay. That's, that's the... Uh... Should have lost that. Should have I think I can do. Um... Can't do a lot with Morrigan other than move two spaces. Um, I haven't got good range on anything. I can move Morrigan one, two, three to here. I don't know if that's a good idea though. I'm just moving myself into the firing line. Put myself here. Um, Uh, can't really do anything else with her, I don't think. Uh, so that's going to have to be her turn done, I think. Or his, whatever it is. Yeah, I think that's me done. Do okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to try and make Shale do something. He can't attack at all. I'm going to move Shale two to here. Nice. 
And then, oh, oh, if you spin your wheel on the health tracker. Oh, no. Nice. Some of that and it's made me jump. And I'm going to use one, two, three, stone spikes, a range of three on Morrigan, which will give her one less speed if it hits. Uh, does three beat your dodge? Uh, no. Yeah, she's got two dodge. Yeah, so she gets the debuff of speed. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, it is just you pick up the buff Where and just flip it. Okay. Where is it? Where are we going, is it? Yeah. Right. Chuck it on gear to flip. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. There we go. Sweet. And Shale's done, but because of his activation, he can now move landslide. One. One. Uh, there. Nice. I'm worried about landslide. Yeah, I think you'll be alright. Um, he can't. He can't get onto God's hair hexes. He's got a lot of health, hasn't he? He's got. Um, this keeps. I'm trying to see what. He's got four health, hasn't he? Which is good. Yeah, but that's almost as much as Shale. Hmm. I can move. That's that's him, isn't it? Landslide there. So yeah, can, the big boy. For my turn, I can move these three to here for one move. I don't know why that card just jumped, but it did, what the hell? Get on the table. Oh God. And then I can do an, uh, a slip and slide. I've just hit the wrong side. Do the slimed attack. So within two hexes, and I get to roll five for accuracy and then five for attack if it goes through. Oh, wow. So oh. obviously onto the landslide. So there's five here, isn't there? So if I can grab these five. Uh, I don't flip I yet. There we go. Get four. What is dodge? His dodge is only and two. two. Nice. And then I have a roll flat five for attack as well, so I need I need a good roll, come on. Four. That's his defence at the minute because he's got the boon token. Yeah, right, yeah, crap. But that's gone. It's completely gone now. Oh. Thought I'd do at least one damage. Um, and then these other two can move, can't they? But we haven't got a lot of places they can move to, so oops. How's that happened? Uh, oh. <laughs> the system's wild. Yeah. So these two, I think, need to just move one space over here. Because they've got two turns. Can they move, these guys move twice? Uh, no, no. But with the wretchlings, two wretchlings may use the same skill if in the same activation if they're in different hexes. So you could have made those guys, if they were in another, anyone within range of two, make them attack as well. Yeah. I mean, they did have a speed of one, so you should have moved them anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just did. I moved them once there. But yeah. Couldn't get them in range to attack anyone, sadly. And then that's them kind of done, I think. Okay. Yeah. That was a poor round for me. I'm going to see if I can take Grimgrot out. Because he's quite scared. There we have just seen the amount of damage you can do. Yeah. I'm going to get Landslide to use Earthquake on Grimgrot. And it's four dice. Nice. The hit. Oh, one. I've got two, two dodge. Yeah, so, so that's, that's been fluffed. Yeah. Thank God for that. And that's all they can do. Oh, nightmare. 
So did you but, win based on killing off one of my minions? Just the one. Oh, so I get okay. one point. Nice. Uh, okay. You you lost, so you rolled two dice. Okay. Two. And then put that you on get two. To, yeah, that's it. Two objective hexes to adjacent ones. Can do that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then it's me to start. And two there. Yeah, brilliant. So I just have to move all my blokes straight away. Mm. So. I'm going to use Stone Strength with Shale straight away to give Landslide an extra defense. And then I am going to make a claim action. Mm -hmm. With that, I'll move Landslide. Uh, I'm not going to move Landslide, I'm going to leave him there. A landslide's turn. I'm going to use Earthquake again against Grimgut. Oh, I'm not selected anywhere near enough dice there. Four. Are you, are you attacking now? Uh, it's a it's an effect, so it's not an attack. It doesn't do any damage. It just moves right. your two hexes. All right, okay. Where do you want him to go? I guess you can move him. Uh, far, far away. All right, okay. <laughs> really far away. All right. Uh, I'll move my rangers one, two, mm. and they can use blur to get an extra dodge. Oh, they've already got one, they can't have two. So instead, I know they're out of range now, just flip them. And Lost Sam can use. Field instructions get an extra damage die. Extra damage. Yeah, it's extra damage die. And I will move her on her. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going to move her at all. I'm going to leave it there. And that is me fully sorted and ready. Right. So I'm going to move Morrigan 2 here onto your flag. That will get rid of your claim flag, right? Yeah, squashes it up. Um, and then I'm going to make a claim with her. Um, so this square here. But when I made a claim, I was meant to move it one closer to me, and then you've made a claim, so it goes one closer back to you. Yeah. Cool. Um, That's the one thing I always forget. So she's done her moves. Um, oh, sorry. Um, My claim was with a shaper, so I should have moved two, and then uh, you move it back one. Yeah, okay. It's the one thing I always forget. If Morrigan is in the range, I can give her... A... Yeah, so I'm going to give Morrigan an accuracy with my cold bones person. But she's already got one, can she have two, or is it only one allowed? I think it's only one, but for her it counts as plus two anyway. Yeah, so there's no point doing that, is there? Um... I could give her a plus movement, but I don't need it, really. Um, right, so I'm going to move him one space there. And then give you a minus one to your attack. Because with the chill out for you know, that blue guy is there. So, so that... So you roll one die, and if you beat, what's my def dodge? My dodge is four. Oh, roll one die. Oh, no, it's plus one, sorry. So you get to roll two. I get to roll two dice versus four. Brilliant. I'm yeah. def definitely winning this one. Hey, if you get a perfect roll, it counts. You can match the dodge. Come on. No. Oh. Okay, that was a waste of time.
Uh, but that's their move. Well, that moved on. And these three here are just kind of in the middle of no man's land. Uh, I've kind of cut them off myself because I'm an idiot. So they can move one space up this way. Um, and then that's them done, I think. Uh, Grimguts guys, they can give him extra movement. But I'm not going to take a token because I'm going to use the extra movement straight away. So save save me getting the token and dragging it over and back. Then he's going to move one, two up here. And he's going to make a claim there. And, um, I also haven't moved these guys. They can't move, can they? Uh, yeah, I think that's all I can do. So he's made a claim here, so I get an extra point right on the thing. So this moves back. One space yeah, it moves there. back up. Right. Okay, I think that's everything I can do, pretty much. These guys over here are in a really bad situation. I should That's have had just them over sitting pretty. Yeah, I should have had them over here somewhere with Morrigan, but <laughs> I just kind of messed up my plan. Now I can't get them across. Um, unless I can do something with Morrigan to get them dragged over. On your next activation, she's got that um, move to ability entry. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You've also got these wretchlings right in their way. Yeah. So they might have to come round the bottom end here. <laughs> yeah. That's these done and done, isn't it? Done and done. So I think we're on to the battle phase, aren't we? We are. Um, and Morgan gets two dodge, three defense. I'm going to go... Oh, how hard do I go straight away? I'm going to go quite hard straight away. Okay. I'm going to start with Boulder Bash with Landslide, nice. which is one range, six to a hit, and I'm going to go for Morrigan. Okay. I've only got two dodge. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I hit, because if I don't, this is going to be a travesty. Oh, I hit. Yeah. I've got then three, it's... three shield and six health. Okay, six damage. Come on. Big numbers. Two, three, five. four, five. So you're hitting me for two, right? Yeah, and you lose one dodge. Right. Lose. Then. Wait, okay, what? Sorry, so I get a negative to my dodge as well. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, can't see that. Not wrong token. I know and then that. I'm going to use. Oops, sorry. Just trying to get the token over it. There we go. Mm. Finally, as a second action, I'll use Earthquake, which will let me move a target champion or followers up to two hexes. So I need to roll how many for that one? Four. Is that four? Yeah, it is. I'm using this on Morrigan. Oh, six. Nice. Mm. And I'm actually going to put her on top of Grimgut's banner. Right, I'm going to move it over a bit. I know, so it's, it's gone. Oh, will I get rid of it? Even my hero? Yeah, anybody who stands on a banner, they're obstacles. Oh, I thought that only if it was the other opposition. Didn't realise that. You, uh, have we got a quick reference? Because you might be right. Oh, you are amazing. Thank you ever so much. I'm assuming you're not talking to me there. <laughs> I mean, you might have done nice things, but my partner's just brought me a crispy creme donut, so... Oh, nice. Fair play. Yeah, yeah, I'm cashing in. I'll quickly have a look, because I think you might be right, actually, now thinking about it, and I don't want to... Mm -hmm. Look up. Banners, banners, banners. Yeah, I'll just Google it. Yeah, would be a bit weird if it wasn't, wouldn't it? What's a claim banner? Can you remove your phone? 
And they remove their own banners. Do what? Do you say they do or they don't? Yeah. Only models from the opposing. No, you're absolutely right. I can't. So instead, yeah, I will put Morrigan one and I'll put her here for two. That is landslide done. Very nice. Sorry about that. It's all right. No worries. It's good to check, isn't it, and get it sorted. Um, mm. I, I feel like I need to either attack with Grimgot or I need to attack with his followers, but the followers aren't very strong. Um, they can only do a little bit of damage, uh, I think. I'm looking the wrong card. Grimgot will get the big bonus if he takes out a minion. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but he's got a lot of health, hasn't he? The only guy you can hit here is this fella, um, Landslide. Landslide's got four health and three shield. Yeah, but how many dice do you roll for a hit? Then that's what I'm looking at now. Uh, seven. Got to be within one space, though. You can move him, can't you? Yes, but I haven't got the pl Oh, yeah, I can move him one, actually. Yeah, I'll move him there. I'll do that, then. You've talked me into it. <laughs> um, I'll roll it's seven Not a dice. good decision on my side. <laughs> no. Um, very generous slash... That's how many one, two, That's only six. You can roll one. So if you can roll seven... Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, seven. I've got. You, you definitely hit. Definitely hit. Yeah. Um, oh, why is it stopped holding those dice? So now I need to roll them. two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I think. Nine. Two. Yeah. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Oh my days! Is that? I think that's killed him, hasn't it? That has absolutely annihilated him. Right, apologies. Um, oh, no, that's that's absolutely fine. One point for killing him and one point extra because it's yellow, right? Absolutely. So, da -da 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 -da. right. Oof, that was a bit of a beastie move, Grimgut. Well done, pal. And what's more is when landslide is knocked out, that space becomes an objective hex. Oh, nice. That's an interesting kind of thing, isn't it? Hmm. Nia's minions are very similar. You can use Nia's minions and just sacrifice them for extra hexes. Yeah. But the downside to that is Nia's big thing is that she gets a bonus action. So three activations if she's got all three minions there. Hmm. Okay. How am I going to retaliate? I'm going to get my revenge. <laughs> I'm going to do something absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. I'm going to go one, two, three, and stand on that banner. Okay. Don't know why I'm taking it over here. Cheers. All right. I Sorry. feel like this character is incredibly long range, and I've taken her right into the heat of the battle. Yeah. She's uh, right in there. But if she uses a skill that inflicts one damage, she can move one hex. She can shoot and scoot. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use Snipe, which is eight damage. Uh, eight to hit. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. And I'm using this on... I'm going to use it on Grimgut. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Does that that hits? Yeah, then I got two dodge. But then I only get to roll four plus my one for my boom five. Yeah. Take that off already. Get rid of that dice. Get rid of that one. That one. What's his defense? Uh two. So I need to roll a solid seven. Uh, well, oh, six, I think. Woo! 
Ooh, that is killer blow. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he is gone. Bye bye, pal. So when a champion gets knocked out. Yeah. Sorry, I get to move them two hexes away. Oh, uh, right, okay. I thought he just got knocked out. No, no, no. Again. It's like you you become a pain in the arse and you can move them two away wherever you want and they need to, on their next turn, um, rally. All right. And then I'm actually going to move one away because it's I'm not staying near Morrigan. I so, get... So he's da is he down to zero health then again? He yeah, yeah, he gets a full reset. reset. So... Nice. So then this would move one, two, three, four, and then plus one for being a slayer. Four, holy shit. Did not expect that. That has swung the battle. And then it is you again. Right. Um, so, well, that's not very good. I don't think I think you've got an alright defense with that woman. She, uh, the she's oh no, oh God. She's got four dodge. That's really good. I'm not prepared to hit her with my minion like I was hoping. Hmm. Might be able to hit her with Morrigan, but hmm. I think it's she's really squishy if you do hit her, and that's what makes me nervous. Yeah. So Morrigan's got plus one to accuracy. So oh, if, I, if I use the ice blade, that'll give me plus two, won't it? Yeah, 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 you get plus two for that. So I'll do that. Um, so I'll get that'll go away. So I'll get five, I think. So I get seven dice to roll versus yeah, yeah. dodge. Uh, plus Morrigan's the range for that one is one hex. You'd have to move one closer to me as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, oh shit, that's two. Move one, attack for the seven. That's seven dice. Here. If I can get these seven. Oh, so if it two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I think it rolls five. Yeah, it rolls five attack dice, so... Oh, my days. If I can hit for damage, it's good. Which is unlike... Oh, why is that? I think you will. Her defense is only one. How much health you got, though? Uh, only six. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. I've hit four. It's not quite enough. It's not, but it's a massive hit of my health. Yeah, this, this minion has got an attack for one plus one for the ac accuracy oh it says plus one for each cold bones i don't have any more cold bones so it's only got one dice roll for accuracy and she's got four dodge uh <laughs> no it'd be one plus one plus your accuracy one so you'd roll three with that min uh no you'd roll two with that minion at the minute yeah so there's only two versus a four dodge isn't there? So I don't feel like I'm going to get through that dodge. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Is Morrigan mm -hmm. finished? Morrigan is finished, yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm weighing up my options. And now you've said that you want to activate that minion, it's making me more nervous. I'm thinking that it's not going to do any help, is it? I might have to use my Mistwood Rangers and see if I can take them out. So I'll mm -hmm. move these one, two. I think they're going to roll five. Yeah, five. Mm. Don't flip it. Oh, I've not flipped it. What's Cold Burns dodge? Uh, it's not very high, I don't think. Uh, two. Okay, and then I roll five for the hit. Don't fluff it. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, just enough. Just by skin of my teeth. Yeah, only just. So that then moves one closer to me as well, and this guy is gone. I'm going to chuck him. Oh, I've, I've actually I've physically chucked him. <laughs> Getting really into the game. 
I, I cannot I cannot actually fix this now. I've broken the man on it. Mm. Won't actually stand now, will they? What is it about the graph uh, the physics of these games? Like they're just too Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that was the highlight of the game so far. That is, that is. <laughs> Legendary. <laughs> nice. Right, and then my mist wood archers are done. All right. Uh, I can only really move my wretchlings or the cold bones, but cold bones, some of them are dead. Uh, uh, th these guys are miles away. Don't forget, you can use your cold bones action as a rally to bring those two back. Oh, uh, as a you, know, you recruit, you can bring both of them back. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Yeah, definitely bring them back. So I'd use both of those actions to do that. So you can choose to either put them in the first two rows where you first started, or in adjacent hexes to Morrigan. I think it would be a good idea to put them by Morrigan. Get some defence over here. And then... Um, is that both of their turns done then, and then they they can't do anything? Oh, no. You get one more action because that's one action, isn't it? So you get one more. All right, cool. Okay. Um, so I'm wondering if I can use the guys who've just come in to do something. Because they're next to your guy, I could attack for three. Dice. Yeah, yeah. Three accuracy against your character here. It's one. It's one range, so it's the only one I can attack against. If I roll three dice, I know I need to get four and get a bit lucky, but let's hope for the best. Come on, dice. You can do it. No, you can't. Nope. Sugar. Okay, so they are done. Can these guys still move over here, or are they not allowed to move now? Uh, no, because you didn't make a move action, so they have to sit still. Yeah, okay. Right, that makes sense. Uh, so I flip these over. They've been done. Yep. Now I get to use Shale, who is absolutely pants without landslides, so... Good. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> it looks so cool. Oh, my days. I, I yeah. wish I could paint. I really wish I could actually put the effort into painting. Yeah, yeah, same. Like, if I had time to do it and I was any good at it, I think it'd be good. Yeah. Right. I'm going to use Stone Spikes against... Morrigan and give her minus one speed if I can hit. Right, okay. Uh, two. What's her dodge? Uh, two. I think there's. Oh, do you have to beat the dodge or match the dodge? Uh, I'm not sure. She's got a minus token for something, I don't see what it is. Yeah, she's got a minus one to her dodge anyway. So you've got two versus one. Oh, oh yeah, 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 so that would, yeah. Uh, that. Um, so I get rid of the dodge and she loses a speed instead. Yeah, unfortunately that gets the, gets you the win through there. And then I will make him move one. Uh, oh, oh. No, he's going to be brave. He's going to stay there. In fact, actually, you know what? He's going to stay, he's going to move to there. Okay. And that is Shale done. That's everyone activated for me. So it's your final activation. My final activation is um, I'm going to. I have one movement with these guys, the Richlings. So I'm going to move these three one space to there and do the what's it called? Slimed, which means. If I can target up to three models in one X, but I'm only going to model your knock your one. But it gives me because there's three of them, I get to roll five for accuracy and five for attack if I get to the attack. Oh my days! So I will. Uh, it's only one range, so of course it's got to go to this. Uh, what's the name? Shale. So I'll take five dice for accuracy. Come on, dice. Be lucky. Four. What's the dodge? Oh. Right. Um, did we work out if it's got to be equal or has it got to be more than? If the number of dice would be equal or exceeds the dodge value, it always hits. So it has to be equal, equal or exceed. So yeah, yeah so you I've hit. got four hit. Um, she's got two shield and five health, hasn't she? So 
Come on, give me a nice six or something here. A five dice roll. Come on, come on, come on. Four. Ooh, mm. three damage. Yeah, three damage. Uh, uh, no, she's got two shield. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so two shield, so two damage. That's annoying. Still very damaging. Not bad. She's not far off dying, but that's not going to win me the round, is it? Uh, I think you get plus four for a banner, don't you? Yeah. That's one, two, three, four. And that is me just getting the win. Um, yeah, I can't move any of the wrestlings anyway, can I? So that's flip that over here and I'm done, pretty much. Yes, uh, you. So, yeah. so you get to start this time, but you also get to roll the dice again to decide where the new god to hexes appear. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... Uh... Roll two of these. Oh shit, that rolled all of them. I, I, was, I was only trying to roll these two here, so should I just take it as one? It's up to you, it's up to you. Yeah, I'm happy with either. I don't mind, it. one's fine, I think. I'll add another god tier thing in over here just to make things a bit more interesting. Get a nice little control point over there, I can see. Yeah, try and get a bit of thing. This banner, does it stay there or do I have to move it now? Uh, it gets removed. Oh, okay. So don't fall over. Good save. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it me to go first? Yeah. Yeah, you to start. Okay. I'm going to um, get my Retchlings to give an extra movement to Grimgut um, as their slip and slide thing. Because I'm one space away from these two here. So we'll get an extra movement. But then he's going to use it straight away, so I'm just going to put it back and just remember I've got two movement with him. Um, so he's going to come in here. I can't make a claim action yet, can I? It's got to be in the next round. I'm not going to make Yeah. One. His action would also have to be a rally as well, so... First thing he'd have to do is like almost bring himself back to life. Oh right, yeah, yeah. So he's only got one move, really. Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Uh, um, he was there, wasn't he? So I could, I could rally here. Could I claim here and put one down and then? Yeah, yeah. Stick it straight on that god too. I could do, but it's not very well protected. Hmm. Don't think it's worth it. Um, so I'll just move in one space to there. Can block behind here. Um, he can I, can. I can do. That's his move done, isn't it? He can't do anything else, so he's done pretty much. Yeah. These have been given him one movement extra, but it wasn't really worth it. And they've got no movement, so these can't really do anything either. So they're basically done. Um. These cold bones have got one movement, but I've got a minus one movement on their thing. I wanted to move them, but I can't, can I? Because of this stupid token. So, to get rid of that, I'm just going to have their movement as to get rid of that. Yep. Which would get rid of it for now. Um, and then, hmm. I can give Morrigan an extra movement if I want, so or an extra accuracy. Is the next to her, I think. So, plus one for each adjacent. Oh, I don't know if to give it accuracy. Or I'll give it accuracy so that I can hopefully do some attacking. So I'll take an accuracy chip for Morrigan. That's nice. in the wrong position. Oh man, she's stacked now. Yeah, that's the wrong position though. That's for the crossbones have got more attack. Morgan's got more accuracy. Um, so they're done. And then Morgan's going to... Uh, I don't know what she can do. Within range. How much range is that? Oh, I'm on the wrong bloody card. So I can move any minion that's in, in four hexes, two hexes across. So... Um, I'm going to do that with Morrigan to move these three over here. Two hexes around this way. 
Trying to get them a long way. Trying to get them a bit more involved. I don't want to go up against your guy up that way. Actually, yeah, that is the long way, isn't it? Yeah. That's stupid. Yeah, let's get him involved in the fight, actually. Let's move him. Oh, that has not come on. Move him. No. So they were originally here, weren't they? Mm. So I could move them up here, I think. That would be one action for Morrigan, and then use Morrigan's claim action to put a banner down behind uh, here. Um, and then that's Morrigan's action done, I think. Yeah, that's me all done. Okay. It's looking a bit spicy. Mm. So I'm going to start by recruiting with landslide to bring him back and put him here. Mm. Uh, and then I will get him to that was on four walls, but three wasn't it? Sorry, three, I think. Yeah, just we use my wheel to zoom in and out, then it's catching that. Yeah, I'm struggling a bit here. I haven't got a mouse, so I'm trying to use the touchpad on my laptop. It's not great. Oh, mate, I feel for you. <laughs> yeah, it's been a nightmare. Uh, I'll use Earthquake, which is arranged two against these. You know, actually, I'm going to use them against the Vetchlings, these ones. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be four dice that I need to use. Uh, five. I'm guessing that hits. Yeah, it should do that. That's pretty crap. I'm moving them up one, two away. Alright, okay. It's landslide done. Shale is going to. He's so squishy. Yeah. Hoping I'm hoping I can kill her off this round. Like if I remember her. I'm feeling you yeah. will, but just just to give myself a little bit more, I'm going to move one. Ooh. Oh, oh, she's been caught on. Landslide's massive arm blade. Yeah. Move one, and then I'm going to make a claim. Can you make a claim? Because all the spaces are taken. Oh, space behind. I didn't see that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. And I've just I've knocked it over. Yeah. Come on, physics, don't fail me now. <laughs> oh. I've ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> My face. Well, <laughs> it's not quite, it's not gone well. Oh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just try one more time with this guy. He's not having it, is he? It's, it's not having it. So that's my claim. I'm calling mm. that. It's on the floor. Okay. And then I get to move this guy three, and I'm gonna move him one, two to here. Ooh, that is aggressive. Nice. I feel like I've got to be because he's the damage dealer. Shale is. I don't know. He's almost mm. like meant to be a wizard in the background, but otherwise he can't make claims or anything. Lawsan is going to use field instruction to get an extra damage die during the activation. Nice. And then move one. Whereas her Mistwood Rangers are going to use a range three attack to give Morrigan minus one defense if they can hit mm. with five dice. That's a bit unfair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he got a dodge of two, so I guess then that's hitting yeah. Yeah, that's minus one defense, but that then is going to be them moving as well. Uh, where is the... They're going to move to here. And that is me fully done as well. Right, so I've got minus one defense, but plus one accuracy with Morrigan, which is nice. 
Mm. I get to go first, don't I? But you do, you do. Don't know what to do with these guys. Hmm. Depends who you're gonna activate first. Yeah. I wanted to try and kill Mrs. Squishy over here, but I can't quite get to her, I don't think. Unless I do... I could... I can actually, I can move one. And then I can attack... Squishy Mc... Squishison. She's gonna get... Oh, you're gonna try and attack her with the minions? The minions here, yeah, the three here. Move one in there. That's Ooh. such a shame kill, I like it. Then they're adjacent to her. And they can do plus one for accuracy for each cold burn adjacent to the target. And there's plus one for all of those in there. So that gives me six dice to roll for accuracy. And then five for attack if I get there. So let's hope, hope I can do some damage with these geezers. Roll. That's not what? Oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven for accuracy. I think you hit. Yep, and then five for uh, damage. Come on, give me a nice roll for damage. Oh. Two, four, six. So she is taken out. You get one, two, three, four. Oh, nice. And then you get to move Shale to locations of your choice. This is Shale, isn't it? But she can't go back to where my men are, and... No, no, it's just, she's... you just move her too, so you can move her over the banner and round. All right, okay. Um, i move her there. Like, past my yeah. people there. Yeah, I think you could. Mm, not sure if that's a good idea or not. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. So that seems annoying. Yeah, and then they're done, aren't they? They're flipped over, all right. Okay, oh, I haven't moved the other guys over here. Dave could have moved as well, couldn't they? One space. Yeah, 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 chip them up. Let's see if I can get these guys to move one space there. One's lying down and just having a sleep. He's had enough. War's too much for him. Yeah, he's, uh... Oh, God. I'm trying to just get the one and try and pick him up, but it's not letting me. Oh, there you go. Not, uh, I mean, it, it works. Ah. Look at that. Yes, getting physics. Better than by the end of this with a master table to appear. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll have a mouse next time. I'll be like, how did I do this? <laughs> It'll all be different again. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go with landslide, and I am just going to go for a big hit against. Uh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. I want to go for Grimgut, but I've already taken him out once, so I feel like I'm just picking a fight with someone for no reason. Go for it. I don't mind. No, it's, it's a bad idea. I feel like it's a very bad idea. I'm going to I'm going to use Mystic Arrow mm -hmm. with Lawsan against Morrigan. So that's three range, three to hit, five damage, and then an extra five if I hit. Hmm. That sounds nasty. It is, but it's. I don't feel like it's going to hit. Three to hit. No. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Big fat miss. Yes. So I needed, that. I needed that. In a tantrum, I'm going to use snipe, which will give me eight to hit. Give you what? Eight. I get eight. Yep. But it's not as damaging. Yeah. This isn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to move afterwards, but I feel like I need to do some damage. 
That's a definite hit. Yeah, I think you've hit him just about. Just, just. And, and then. Guess, yeah, four dice. Uh, four, plus one from my buff. Hmm. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, not space. Roll. One, two, three, four, five. And I've got three shields, so I take two damage. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so she's still alive at least. And then I get to shoot and scoot. I can move one hex. I'm going to choose to move. Uh, oh, no, your cold burns are in the way. I'm going to take them out next time then. I'll move to there. Okay. Blip. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use Morrigan's special power, which freezes Ooh. all enemies within range and gives them all minus one to dodge and minus one to movement. Oh, what range is that? <clears throat> uh, three hexes. So I'm pretty sure it hits everyone. It does. Everyone on my team gets minus one dodge and minus one... Uh, minus one movement. Oh, my days. Then that flips that card, doesn't it? So that has been done. <clears throat> and, um, that is a massive hit. Yeah, I figured it was be... I didn't know when I could do it. If I could do it before without activating her... Or if I had to be on her turn, so I thought I'll use her on her turn and do it. No, and then... Um, I wouldn't get the minus dodge for those guys, but that's only because they had a plus dodge anyway. Oh, yeah. And if I use Ice Blade on someone, then they'll get a wound. And uh, she's quite squishy, isn't she? she Shale? Yeah. If but she's all... She's quite far same. away from you now. Yeah, she's too far away. That's a trouble. Does the special move count as an action, or is that just a free action kind of thing? Ah, uh, I think it's an action. Ah, right, okay. That means I can only really ice blade this red woman next to me, which is Lawson. I think. Yep. So she's got three dodge at the minute. Yeah, and um, for ice blade, if the target has a Minus speed, minus accuracy, or minus strength to get a wound. So if you hit, no matter what happens, I'm taking a hit. Yeah, and I get to roll five dice, so I need to hit five for these five. Come on, good roll, good roll. Six. That's a hit. That's a hit. So no matter what happens, I'm taking one damage. Yeah, and I've got to roll five dice. What shield so you she got? One. So you just need to make a single hit and I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, three. Oh. I thought I'd got one then. I thought, oh no. <laughs> three, yeah. So she's down. And I get four for that. Plus the one because uh, it's a, a champion, right? Uh, yeah, so five. One, two, three, four, five. It's basically at my end. I might, I, yeah, I could pull this back, yeah. yeah give me. Just, just saying. <laughs> just let me try one. I've got one plan in my head. It's definitely not going to work because none, no one that I need is on the board. Right, so that's both of my guys done, those red guys yeah. anyway. Still and you get to move Law Sand too as well. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's F her off. She seems like a right bin. See you later, love. <laughs> <laughs> get off my oh. space. You've taken out both my champions. Yeah. Right. So, it was needed. So I've got to activate Shale by rallying him, so that's one thing. Oh, he can't get any debuffs, though, which is a plus. So I can get rid of those. Nice. Even so, like he's rallied. He's in the middle of nowhere, and he can't do any damage. Yeah. Oh, I should have got rid of my extra damage for the cold bones, because they did an attack, didn't they? I forgot to get rid of that. I just chopped that away. To the pile there. All right. Then I'm going to use Shale Super, which is Avalanche. Choose oh. any number of objective hexes within three hexes of landslide. Move up to one hex onto an empty non-objective. 
in any order. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can basically move at the minute everything we've got. So I'm going to move this one here. All right. This guy is going to go here. Well, you can move everything and everything on it. Yeah, anything within oh, three yeah. of landslide. This is a ridiculous ability, actually, now I'm looking at it. I can see why people like Shale. <laughs> this is insane, yeah. So you're completely remodeling the whole map. Yeah. And effing me up in the, in the process. I'll move that one there. I'll move this one there. I just need a bit more of an open gap. C can you move God Tears away from each other, though? I thought they always had to connect. Uh, you can move them a couple away from each other. They just have to be placed adjacent. Uh, okay. So if you turn someone into a god tier by force, like uh, Nia's, I think they have to be next to one. Uh, Whereas okay. Landslide, when he dies, he just becomes a god tier. Right. And flip okay. that. And that is Shale fully done. That's messed up my plans a bit. Um, so... My retchlings can. Hmm. Let's go target up to three models on one hex. Or. I can attack within two spaces and I can do it twice. Two retchlings may use the skill in the same activation if they're on different hexes. So I can do the hatch, the retchlings attack, which is four dice for two and five dice for three. And then five attacks. I can do that kind of two times. Yeah, yeah. And if I move, I'm trying to see who's easier to kill. Or... Landslide's not got great defense, but he's got. Shale's got better. Mm. I might go after Landslide just because I can. So, oh shit, I don't need to do that. That's not going well. Oh my god. Why the hell has this happened? <laughs> so Physics. Yeah, excellent physics <laughs> system. So if they, if they move there... Oh, they don't need to, do they? But I guess I can move them there. Just, yeah. Just in case. And then I'm going to attack Landslide with both of the sets of Retchling, so the two will roll four dice to see if they hit him, and then the uh, the three will roll five in a minute when I do those. His dodge at the minute, the landslide is one. Yeah, so I've hit him for three, so they definitely hit, and then I think they do five dice. Yeah, they do five dice for attack. So let's roll them. One, two, three, four, five. They've got five attack on him. So two damage. Okay. He's only got four it. healths. Well, you've got another attack, yeah. Yeah, so I've got another attack with the other three that rolls five for accuracy. So we've got two, four, five. Yeah, yeah, hits. yeah. Just, and then just, five just dice. hits. Five dice for attack with one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my, yeah, he's gone. So he's dead. All right. Um. He he came in, he ruined the battlefield, and now he's dead again. Yeah. I don't think I can do anything with this token, though. It's right at the end. So what? Nothing. Like just you you right just keep the it there. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, and then these guys are flipping over because they're done. You yeah, absolutely dominated right. this round. I needed to because it was a three-point error. I thought, oh, I've got to do something here. Thank God. I caught up a little bit and did something. Okay. Well, Landslide is going to recruit and come back. Just in case anybody missed him, he's, he's here again. Oh, nice. Hello, pal. <laughs> Did you miss him? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was upset he was gone. All right, okay. I'm going to do something I know I can actually do and manage. So I'm going to use Boulder Bash on one of these little um, old bones because I'm, I'm feeling quite sad that every time I try and do something... Uh, no, actually, no. I'm going to go big. I am going to go for Grim Gun. Oh, go for it. Nice. So six to hit. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. So I can't see it yet. So you've got four, yeah, yeah. You've only got two two dodge. So. Yeah. And then it's six 
Oop, uh, six dice for damage. Nice. And he's got two. Two. Uh, two. Hold two. Oh, he's got two shields, so he doesn't take any damage. No, nope, so it's completely bounces off his big blubber and landslide's finished. Oh no, that is not good. Um, let's see what I can do. Uh, can't go in a space when I've got where I've got my men, can I? Um, oh, they, they become obstacles for you. That's a bit annoying. Uh, there's not a lot I can do with him then, really, other than attack. So if I do the nom 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 thing, I can I can only attack a follower, but I'm right next to landslide. I don't really see any benefit to it though. He's just he'll, he'll die. I'd get another point if he died, and then oh, he might Means. not die actually. Could get damage, couldn't he? And then next round he's easier to kill. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, uh, I'll go for that then. I'll just do the so I get to roll seven dice for accuracy. And then seven for attack, so that's six, seven. So, roll for accuracy, two, four, six. Yeah, that's and a hit. Roll for attack, two, four, six. Ooh, that is leaving me with one health. Oh, nice. Perfect. If I want, right. can I still move? Because I've only done one action. So yeah, can, yeah, I'll, still move, yeah. I can't move across enough there. I could move one there, but then I'm opening myself up, I think, for thingy. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, don't know what to do. I'll just, I'll just stay here. I think I'm in a position of power there. That one, nice little empire you've got going on. Yeah, I'll stay there. Misswood Rangers are just going to get ready for next round, so they're going to use aim to buff themselves. Mm. There it is, that's what I wanted. And then they are going to move to here just to get rid of the debuff for movement. Nice, yeah, good idea. Uh, I think we need to count this one up, it might be close. Um, yeah, I think I might yeah. have just edged that one slightly. Yes, that's moves five for me, four for me this way, and then back four. Yeah, you've you, you've clinched that one. I think I've just about <laughs> edged it. Yeah, just <laughs> only just <laughs> sheer dominance is what that was. I'll take that. Yeah, I think I needed it after the first two rounds. I was getting smashed. Okay, so I'm going to roll these. Okay. I don't get to add any god tears. <laughs> but that's that's fine. That's, that's fine. How, that's how your rolls have been going this round, really. <laughs> it is, you know. Summed up that round for you. I'm getting all the bad rolls out ready for this one. This is the big one. Yeah, yeah, good idea. This is the big level, yeah. If you've got, so, you've got three points of you, and I've got three points. So, yeah, whoever wins this will win the game, won't they? That's it, yeah. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. So, I start as first player. Nice. And first thing I'm going to do is these bring... Got, these have got oh, yeah, they have there. They do, yes. Let's take these first... Mm -hmm. So first thing I'll do is I will rally. So uh, Lawsan is back up. And then she is going to chuck her banner down here. Nice. So uh, fully done. Then I will... Move shale one two. Sorry, move that one to a point for placing that down. Place yeah. shales down, and that moves me two extra because he's a shaper. Yeah. Okay. I will then. That's him done. Move landslide back one. Leave him there. Landslide's turn, I will use Earthquake on Grimgut just for a change because he is mega scary. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move him one, two. Oh, that's annoying. 
I need this. It's really messed my plans. Uh, um, oh, I can actually do this. So I've had this ability for ages and not been able to use it. Eruption. Friendly and enemy models adjacent to landslide gain minus one defense. I'm going to use that, and then your all your followers are going to get minus one defense. Brilliant. That's, that's what I wanted. That's what I was hoping for, anyway. Cheers. <laughs> so hi, I'm just I'm just trying to appease the people. Yeah. At least at least I've got three points. That that'll please me. This round's yep, looking yep. bad though because Morrigan's got a minus to her defense. So is a uh, minions. It's so over the minions of Grimgut. So, and Grimgut's miles away from the action, so I can't even like get him involved. Well, Grimgut's minions have really annoyed me because I thought, oh, there's loads of them. Be able to get loads of points. No, they're not worth anything. They're worth absolutely nothing for every yeah. kill. When you kill him, you don't get any points, do you? It's, oh, it's quite awful. quite good. I think he's great really tactic, though. Yeah, he's quite cool to actually just keep summoning his minions as well. Yeah, and. No, I'm going to leave them there. That is everything done. Oh, God. That's not helping me out at all. You've completely screwed me over. Um... Hmm. I haven't got a lot I can do now. Uh, Morrigan can't move far enough to do what I wanted to do. I don't think. Oh yeah. The cold bones can give Morrigan an extra movement. So I will do that. Which allows Morrigan the extra movement. So she'll have three movement instead of two. Uh, four, because her buff scout oh, four, double. yeah. So she can go... One, two, stand on that, stand on that. Get rid of both of those banners and then move one space back here, yeah? So these will both be gone. Oh. Yeah. I, stood. I blinked and I missed it. Oh, man. I stood there, then I stood there, then I moved here. So she moved four spaces and went one, two, three, four. That is really well played. Really annoying. Um... Is that is that your champion there? I might just she's only done the movement as well, so oh, of course that's happened. Yeah, thanks physics. Let's get that back in there. So I'm going to use a claim action with Morrigan maybe to. Or should I? Hmm. It forces me to move if it helps. I can't just sit and leave it. Yeah, I can also give people negative hit stuff as well, so I don't know whether to do that or not. Um, move Morrigan up to one hex towards the target and then give them a negative defense for Frosty Glance. Um, might have to do that because it might be useful. Or I could move my Cold Bone, but they don't need to move. Yeah, so I'm going to do the... It's called the Frosty Glance hit effect minus... One on shields. Got to be enemies within range of three hexes and I have to roll five accuracy dice. So who are you so, doing it to? Um, who's going to be the hardest to kill? The easiest to kill, actually. This guy's going to be uh -oh. easy to kill. She's going to be hard. I'm trying to think. She's Both of them feel incredibly squishy. Yeah. I'm going to take... One off shale, if I can. I'll roll the five dice and try and take. So she's only got one shield then. That would be a good idea, I think. I've hit it for two. Is that enough? No. What's she got? Uh, shale. That's two, yeah. So I've hit it for two. So the shales got... is four. Ah, sweet. Oh, I'm on landslide. Yeah, so that doesn't hit then, does it? No. no. Okay, so she's done. Morrigan, you suck. I <laughs> did get rid of some of that stuff, so it's not too bad. And Cold Bones gave her an extra movement, and I uh, didn't move them. Maybe I should. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to move these to just over, over one space. Not the dice. Go away, dice. 
Um, so they're done. And then we've got Grim Gut and his guys, but they've just been screwed over because they can't do a lot. He's only got movement of one. Uh, I to the new spew, you have to remove all of the Richlings to do it. Um, there's no, there is people next to the Richling. There's this guy. I can give do a flu spew and give a minus to attack onto your um, blue minion maybe if I can roll four accuracy dice. Oh yeah, it's on two. Landslide dodge is only two, so yeah, if I go for landslide. Oh, I um, need to roll four dice, I think. Yeah, four. So I'll roll these if we can get one. Roll these four. Which is four, so that hit him. So he's got yeah. minus one to that, yeah. Yeah, one less attack die when he attacks, which is not good because that's the one thing he does. Yeah. Um, oh, I did not mean to move that. Uh, my hatchlings can't actually move anywhere, so richlings or whatever they're called. Um, but I can move one space over with my grim guts. I'm going to move him one space to there. And these can't move closer, sadly, so I can't actually give him any buffs that I wanted to. Uh, I could have moved. Hmm. No, yeah, that's it. That's all I can do, I think. These can't do anything else. They can't move and they can't attack. So, yeah, that's it done, I think, for this stage. Sadly. Okay. Right. Then. I am going to get revenge for you taking out my banners. Okay. And I'm going to use Law Sand's super ability, which is Death Blow. Hit effect, the target gains two wounds, and I'm going to use that on Morrigan. Morrigan, so she's got her t so she's dead, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, plus one. Oh. And I'll put her one, two. Okay. And then I will get Law Sand to use... There's nothing but minions around there. That's, that's not too bad. I will use Piercing Shot, which will make you gain one wound, which will just be a kill if I can get it, against one of these cold burns. Okay. That's going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, completely missed. Oh, no way. Yeah. That so that is Lausanne Finito. Right, Grimgut's uh, not happy with you. Ugh. He's uh, he's gonna roll in to here. I like the idea of him just rolling. Yeah, um, and then he's gonna use. The thing is, if he uses a special ability, it's the same as his regular attack. So I don't see how I'm benefiting from that really. Uh it it, it targets three minions. Oh uh, right, okay. I'm not. I'm only near one minion though, aren't I? The other three are all over here. Yeah. So, either way, I'm doing seven dice and seven dice. So, I'll attack. That was a bit of a stupid move, really, wasn't it? Didn't I'm going to be. I'm going to be shocked if it doesn't kill him. Yeah, but it seems a bit of a waste. I should have killed him first with someone else. Then I could have rolled three spaces into here somewhere and done it. No, it's done now. Right, two, four, six, there's seven dice here. Let's roll. So it's got to be at six, it. six, yeah. Oh, it's gone off. No, no, that's not what I did. And two, four, six. So he's dead, yeah. yeah. So that gives that's... me an extra point because it's a minion as well, yeah. Because, so for the like, ninth time in this match, Landslide is off the map. <laughs> yeah. He has been removed. I'm surprised he's got oh. so much health. He should just be like this massive powerhouse, and he's been yeah. he has been bullied. <laughs> yeah, he's been done, hasn't he? Oh, um, I'm not. I'm not liking the way this round's going. To be honest, I think 
I'm going to struggle to get the points. I'm, I'm just going to try and constantly control my feeling. If I can just control it, I might be able to keep the win. Mm. I'm going to start by using... Ooh. I'm going to bring Landslide back as a recruit. Mm -hmm. And I will get him to target because he's not going to be able to get to another champion. No. You can use Boulder Bash on one of the Cold Burns. So six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then see if I actually do damage. One, two, three. What's their defense? Uh, three, but I've got a minus one to my defense as well, so two. Managed to just kill one. Skin of my teeth. Nice. And that is landslide done. All right. I don't really know how I'm going to get enough points to get this back in the bag. I need to kill one of your main people, really. Which is not going to be easy. But Morrigan's got a movement of two. He has to rally first, remember. Ah, uh, yeah. She's about all that. Yeah, so she's only got one action, really, hasn't she? Uh. So she has to rally to stand up, and then she's. Yeah. Can't do a lot. Right oh, sorry. I took your one of your snowblades out, so I should get minus one dodge because of their effect. No, I can't actually get anywhere with her to attack anyone. No, she's only short range, isn't she? Yes. That's Apart from idea. ice bolt, which is a massive aim, but low damage. Yeah, it's really poor, isn't it? So. Only going to do three attack dice, which isn't really going to kill anyone. Um, not even with you've got six defend or six health. There's no way of that doing it. Oh, I don't want to lose, but I think I'm going to lose. It's... You could set it up for your cold burns. Yeah, potentially, but I can't give them a lot to do though. I can't we like, get effective to target her? I can try and get an ice bow and ice bolt, which will give them minus accuracy. But mm, it's not a lot. So yeah, I'll have to try and do that. I think go for the ice bolt to give minus accuracy accuracy to someone. Oh, I'm not sure who we've got left to activate. Uh, uh, just shale and my archers. I'll give it to oh, shale. Oh. Sorry. No, I don't think that was you. I think that was me. Uh -huh. um, I'll try and give that to Shale. Um, that'll give it three. I've got the roll seven dice. She's within, within three spaces, isn't she? Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven dice there. Let's roll these seven. So we've got two, three, four, five, six. Against? So, yeah. Against Shale. So that gives a minus one accuracy, and then I get to roll three dice for attack. Okay, okay. So let's see if that does anything. No, roll. I got two on that roll. You only rolled one dice. Uh, rolled, two dice, rolled, sorry. No, I rolled this one as well. I rolled these three. Oh, sorry. I got, I got two blanks and then a double. So her defense, his defense, their defense is two. Yeah. So no damage. That's annoying. Mm. And then Morgan stands over, and I think we have a winner. Uh, dominated the last round a bit too much, maybe. Maybe used all my good stuff there. I think you had a lot of setups that you really cashed in on. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Should have waited. Should we finish this off at secret? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's finish it off properly. Yeah. Okay. I want to go down fighting with my ship. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
I'm going to move Shale one two, and I will use. Why is it doing that? It's annoying, isn't it? It is. There we go. And I will use Stern Spikes, which is three range, four to hit because of my debuff. It's not going to do anything, but I feel like I just need to do something with him. So, Morrigan now has minus one movement. Oh, yay. That's not really going to affect it, but I'll put that on there anyway. Just No, that. no. I don't think it's ever going to change anything. No. But then I can move um, Landslide one, two, and leave him there. Okay, nice. You've got two more to activate, I think, haven't you? Yeah, Wretchlings can do an well, Wretchlings can actually move one space and they can do an attack within two hexes. Oh, that's quite good. So I, could, I could try and do something. What? One, two. It's not going to get far enough for the other. This group of three here, I can move one space and then they're going to be within. They need three hexes to get to you. So, these ones could get to Shale, though. Yeah, these two can get there. Uh, oh, but you get to activate them twice, don't you? Mm -hmm. They could go there, couldn't they, once? And then use these two to attack Shale there, I guess. Oh, God. I get this. So, I would only get to roll four dice for accuracy and then five for attack. But it's worth a go. Not going to do much to the score, but this might be fun. So we've got five for accuracy. That's a hit. That's a well a hit. Nice, and then I get to roll an extra dice for attack. Come on, dice gods, be nice. So I've got four for attack. That's two damage. Okay, and that's pretty much all these can do. I think I might as well move these three, which I didn't move before, just to make it done. Yeah. And then I've only got my cold bones left, and you've got, have you got one left as well? Yeah, just my archers. Oh, nice. They've already aimed, so I am going to... Nobody who's injured, so there's no one really point worth targeting. Mm -hmm. They get some roll five, though, so they could, on a complete, you know, stroke of luck, make a kill if they can roll the ten. Potentially, I guess. <laughs> so they're going to target Morrigan. They're going to just balls to the wall, go for it. Might as well. She's got minus one accurate, minus one shield as well. Okay. So, she's got plus one dodge though, so. Three dodge, two shield. So I get to roll five and then five. Let's see if we can't get something good here. Nice. Is that all? Yep. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Nice, yeah. So, hit. And two and shield. And then. Big hit! That's, that's appalling. <laughs> Couldn't have gone any worse, really. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I do get to roll one extra dice because of my buff. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay, I still <laughs> So, it didn't do any damage yet. She's nice. just looked at those three archers and just shook her head at them. Yeah, and these guys have got not a lot they can do left. Uh, I, was, I flipped the wrong one, haven't I? I did the Wretchlings before. Oh, no, I haven't. That's the gold bones I've got left to use. They can... I don't know, have a bit of a laugh. Snow, they've got one movement. Um, they can maybe move in somewhere and try and do some stuff. These, is, is the two there or three? There's two here, isn't there? These two can move forward, charge at the end. The final hurrah, they're going to attack um, Shale for, I don't know what it is. One, two, Four accuracy and four attack. Okay. I don't think there's any way I could kill her, but you never know. They get a perfect roll. Come on. Five for accuracy. That's a hit. So come on, how much damage do I need to do? 20? Something stupid? <laughs> 20? No, come that on. five. Oh, three. Ah! Oh, did one. Damage. Oh. So... Two points for you. Taking so it is a grand total of five. Five to three. 
Oh, good game. That was very, very enjoyable. Here's what I think of this woman. Yeah. <laughs> no, she was absolutely top. T- she is MVP. Yeah, she seemed good. I thought these two blue guys were quite good as well. They were a bit annoying, especially when he moved all the map about. Um, yeah, that oh, was... That wrecked me. Uh, I thought, oh yeah, I'm in a position of power here and then everything moved. I was like, oh no. I was reading the ability and I read it as uh, he can move one hex within three and I thought, oh, that's really pants for a super. And then when you use yours, I thought, I'm going to have another read and all my days I just opened the world up. Yeah, it seems really, really strong. So, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Um, I just want to again say a big thank you to Steamforge Games for sending me this game and to Callum for playing with me online and teaching me the ropes a little bit. Now I'm a bit more confident with how to play and I'm really excited to play some more. I'm so excited, in fact, that I actually went online the other day and I bought a new pack, which I'm going to unbox. And this is Rangor, Rangosh, even. The Scourge of the Broken Plains, a red bandit. Looks really cool, looks very devilish. And I am also hoping to get some more once I have managed to pay off my wedding and get that out of the way. So thanks for watching the video, guys.